It's a love song. And if you can imagine me singing a love song, you can imagine many things. So here we go. With a maid so bewitching, Miss Henry Bell out at Captain Kelly's kitchen with me, Tiralooraloo. Me Tiralooraladdy, I be Tiralooraloo. Tiralooraloo-laddy, at the age of 17, I was apprenticed to a Samia is a very, um, it's, a, it's a funny kind of an Ill, illness to um, diagnose, you just don't give blood or something and they do a test and oh he's got MS. Um, what happened to me was I had no feeling in my arse, um, it was like as if you drove 2,000 kilometres, you know that dead feeling and you get out of the car and you walk around and it goes away. In my case it didn't go away and the next morning I had a bad thinking that will help it go away, no it didn't go away. So this numb feeling. So by the third day I went to the doctor and he sent me for uh, blood or, uh, blood uh, tests. Initially thought that I might have the, the sickness of Lyme, which is if you're bitten by uh, an animal, what's it called, a tick. And uh, yeah, I was convinced it was Lyme sickness as well. But by the end of that week I had to get a spinal tap and uh, I was initially diagnosed with a thing called T TM, transversal mesolosis. But then it was grand for a few months. And then by later on that year, in September, that's the same year, um, 2003, I had a second uh, relapse where my eyesight, I got double vision. And then comparing MRE scans or whatever they compared, was diagnosed with secondary or uh, with um, multiple cirrhosis, the normal one, remittance, relapses. So I went looking for other people, musicians with MS. And I met quite a few. I ended up going in, I think, 2007 to America, to Denver, to meet a woman called Linda Story. And we ended up recording one of her songs and one of mine. And, uh, you know, the few of us with MS, the bass player had MS, I had MS, Linda's got MS. So we recorded this song, um, The Lodger Inside of Me, and it kind of opened up doors within the MS world for me, you know, so I could, uh, that I had a network if I needed help or whatever, or advice or stuff like that. The unannounced arrival of the lodger inside of me. So yeah, and I've done a couple of benefit concerts over the years for the MS Society of Holland and um, yeah one memorable one in Buslo and we raised over 10,000 euros for them yeah. so in that sense I suppose yeah but anyway it's resulted that my left hand side is uh, numb and I'm left handed so I can't write I can't play any instruments anymore um, so what I do is I DJ on radio and I also DJ concerts. So I'm still very much in touch with music, but not on a, on a very different uh, level than what I was on before when I could play. You know, I don't play with bands anymore. 
I'm a funny kind of a guy because I live in hope, you know. I hope one day that my arm will come back, my hand will come back. Never mind the leg, I just want the fucking hand back. Um, it would be great to be able to blow the clarinet again or the saxophone. Um, so yeah, so mentally, yeah, you're living with hope, you know. I'm um, a very positive kind of a character, so I don't let it get me down. I don't suffer from depression, you know. I suffer from frustrations more so with it than anything else. So yeah. Did it affect your music? No, not really. It's probably the opposite of that, what you just asked, I'd say. Because my musical intake nowadays is much more broader. And because of what I'm doing being a DJ, it's very difficult to get 35 songs every week for your show. So that's an awful lot of music in a year. You know, I'm in my second year of just DJing. So, so my ears would be an awful lot more uh, susceptible to music. And yeah, but I either like it or I don't. I know what I want in music. Some days are good, some days are bad, and some days don't happen at all. But a good day is a good day, no matter what, without larger.